Ah. Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Ah. Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? Hey guys, it's Sean Mayo here, uh, and I've had uh, some questions over time about sorting our uh, our list. Of course, there's a limit of 400 items, 400 lines to a bulk list, so uh, obviously you can't upload the whole list since uh, some products will have up to 10,000 uh, different categories. Uh, so uh, the easiest way to figure it out, and this is why we entered uh, and add this column D to every uh, bulk list, and we're looking at the bulk list right now, uh, but what um, the best way to do it is to just sort this by category, and then you can select, uh, you know, whole categories or multiple categories or segments of categories, and it will be sorted by uh, the, the, the category that you want. Uh, currently, we sort them by the biggest first because that's what uh, people have shown interest in. They want to do the biggest categories first. But of course, you can sort this uh, any way you want. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel oh, uh, and Google Sheets. Right now, we're in uh, Google Sheets, Google Drive. Uh, and basically, all you have to do is select your uh, select your sheet. You can hit Control A to select the whole thing. Uh, then if you go up here to data, uh, you'll see uh, sort sheet by, by column A or sort arrange by column A. But if you go down here to sort range, you can select uh, whatever you want. So if you have that header row uh, selected, if you hit control A, uh, then you can click on this button that says data has header row. Uh, and it won't sort that line. It'll keep it up at the top. Uh, and then you can just select whatever you want to sort by. We want to do it by this full name. And we're going to sort from A to Z, Z to A, whatever you're interested in, uh, and hit sort. And then this is going to put these all in alphabetical order. So uh, in this sheet, uh, this is from ABT, so this sheet has home first, uh, and then it'll have all the appliances and the subcategories of appliances and subcategories of that and so on. Uh, and everything will be uh, in the order of name. So, um, you know, this is... Um, uh, the way that a lot of people may want to do it and uh, you know it's going to be helpful for a lot of reasons uh, because if you're working in the kitchen category uh, you know home and kitchen have uh, you know something like 10 million or, or maybe more by the time you're watching this video uh, items in it and you know something um, that's a lot smaller um, may not have uh, as many so uh, you can be looking at much higher ranks uh, to get to where you want to be. Uh, and it's very similar in Excel. Here we are on the same sheet in Excel. Uh, we can uh, select this whole thing. And then if you go over to data, uh, so once you select your, uh, your lines, you can just click on sort, and uh, then you're going to select the sort column, of course, select your My Data Has Headers uh, once again, and then uh, select your column to sort by. Uh, you can sort on values and then uh, the order you want, and hit OK, and it's going to put it uh, all into order again. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget there is a limit of uh, 400 uh, lines for a bulk upload, so if you have more than 400 lines, uh, the rest isn't going to work. Just uh, you know, make a copy of this file. Take take the pieces that you want, delete the rest of it, uh, and save it as a new name. And then you'll have multiple files you can upload, all organized by category.